Hello and welcome to Sim.pc where right now is, is 1957 and due to this very 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 late date or this very very late time we're not going to use the oh, second feed. I know but what I have been realizing is that for once it's a lot of editing time. Not that I do really mind that. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about the second feed is that I usually is working with a different camera angle but I'm not even gonna utilize that today. Why? Well because it's 8 o'clock and I want to record this edit this and upload this right and render it and all of those good things before the very next day because that's kind of the essential part of the daily upload schedule am I right people well of course I'm right <laughs> uh, based on the own restriction that I do put on myself need to keep that in mind that probably means that I'm going to be rather focused on this camera right here as of now also means that I don't have to mix and match the different sounds of the different video feeds and it's, you know, it's all in all, just a better alternative for me as of today. Because yesterday, I realized, and over the last couple of days, I realized that I don't really use that feed that much. I mostly just watch this thing right here. Now, the unfortunate thing about that is that I usually kind of want to check down on the other screen. Why? Well, because it's always nice to be looking like this in a different direction, even though I know you're going to see me from there. Because it just makes me feel like, wow, I can actually take a break in what I'm talking about and really restructure it in my mind. Since this is all raw footage to keep Keep that in mind as we're moving forward because today mates <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we are going to talk about and this is all in layman's terms or rather might not be in layman's terms but in layman, a layman's way right this is in a very unofficial way we're gonna discuss about information online and who does own the bloody thing because that is a huge discussion yet again we're playing off yesterday's video all about the idea of well taking a nice and easy breezy video right and it just turns out to be that I was trying to uh, discuss this thing in the end which I thought was you know like I shoved in there this probably needs to have its own proper video yeah so I was talking to some of my mates today so yeah that's where we're gonna start the most unofficial source of information that you probably can get the friends or your friends friends you know the people who say I know this based on what based on a friend of a friend of a friend of mine said or based on a friend of a friend of a cousin of a in married in-law uh, said or experienced you know all of those good information sources is collectively aggregated towards your friendship you know my social circle at least it's always someone who says you know my friends friends friend or whatever and that's the sources that I'm going to start with today. So I was going around and I was asking because I was thinking about recording this video as of, well, yesterday, really, as of yesterday's video. <laughs> You know, structure and planning. So I was going in with the open mind of saying that what do you think about information sharing online? And most people actually kind of interesting to me because I didn't think that people were going to be on top of the news. But they were actually talking about Mark Zuckerberg's hearing and saying that, well, based on this very recent event, there are certain things that should happen, right? And there's a friend who's calling me and disturbing me, but not for long. We can change that. I have a new phone, so it's going to take a while. Oh, I'm just not used to some of the things you know when you have a new phone you just need to do something really quick oh, i hate that right anyway so I was going on with the open mind and people were actually start telling me, right, stuff like, well, you know about the hearing of the Mark Zuckerberg case, you know, all of those things that happen there. People are sharing their information, people are selling their information, different companies might be selling our information and different other companies other than Facebook might be able to acquire our information. So I was going in with an open mind, but I quickly turned to, well, that's not true. That's not how it is. I sat through the eight hour long thing, right, and or sorry, the seven hour long thing. You know, it gets longer and longer the more I talk about it. <laughs> and that's that's not a use for euphemism. Ladies. Um, anyway. I was talking about that, well, I was going in with the open mind, but then I was, you know, quickly changing towards that, no, that's not how it is, that's not actually how they use it, so I had a bit of a bias moving into this entire discussion, but basically what we derived as a community, yeah, as a small little group of friends, what we came to the conclusion was that basically when you're online, the information that you do share is probably going to be yours, and you should have the, you should have the say to what this information is used for, however, we did acknowledge as well, probably based on my intervene me intervening in the discussion to be honest right but I have an opinion as well um that well 
Sure, the information that you do put up on, you know, wherever you do it, right? If you, if you put it up online, you should be able to keep in mind where it's used. However, if you're putting it up online, you'd probably do that in order to share it with someone. Uh, why else would you put it up online? And this was kind of the argument that I made as of yesterday, and that's why it's, you know, my biased opinion. But you're taking it up or you're picking it up or you're uploading it because you want to share it. That also means, so that takes into the discussion, what information is really your information if you think about it? Because, sure I was discussing this with my friends but we didn't really get that far along. It was mostly we just restating the same problems, the same issues, the same pros and cons so to say. And we just derived to the idea that well you should in the best case scenario, be able to own the information that you do upload. And that's probably going to be the conclusion of this entire video. What is actually, what, what is it supposed to be? Because I can't enforce anything, right? We can just discuss in, in the comments below, right? So leave your mentions in the comments below of what you think about information should be online. But this is kind of what this entire video is all about. So we're talking about this idea that what happens when you share something with someone else? Because yeah, sure, in the idealistic world, this is your information. You should have the say in how it is used and why it is used. However, if I share it with my friend, technically that information that I had, I now have shared, which means that I've given them the information. Now, is that their information or is that information my information? That's probably a very philosophical topic, right? I mean, that probably, when it comes down to it, if you're in court, for instance, and you're saying that I've uploaded something that's going to be used in a court case that I do not want or wish to be used in a court case for any matter of reason, but... My friend is saying that, oh, this is no problem. I can give you access to this information because he shared it with me previously. Now, does that mean that I have the final saying how it's going to go about things? You know, am I the one who has the final saying and saying that, no, that information is not going to be used or disclosed? Or is it that person who whom I shared it with that can say on behalf of my information that say that, well, it's my information as well. I can share it if I deem it to be worth noting or if I just want to. Which is kind of a juicy discussion. Discussion. So yes, it is a matter of perspective when it comes down to it. But it's just an interesting topic overall now, isn't it? To go in and actually thinking about... Am I sharing the information publicly as in I'm giving you the information? Or am I sharing the information, the information in the sense that you're allowed to view the information? Because those are two very different things. And if we take Facebook then, for instance, uh, I think that most people go in with the mindset that I'm uploading something here and it's my pictures, it's my videos. But I'm uploading them, so I'm giving you the permission to view them. Because that's also generally the misconception when you are, for instance, on YouTube, you can see people saying that, oh, you have a lot of views. Or on, if you're on Facebook for that matter, or Instagram, or Twitter, all of these different social media sites. You can, people can say that, well, you have many different views on these videos or on these pictures based on likes, maybe. Maybe based on comments. If it's a video, then you can probably also see the views that the video do have. <clears throat> so that, from that, you can establish some form of traction right on the video or the picture then based on likes, comments and uh, shares. Which is uh, misleading, as I say, in a way, because... Yes, people are viewing your content, right? They're viewing your pictures, they're viewing the things of your profile, of your uh, private life that you do wish to share, that you do take the, uh, take the step to share with them. However, they also can download this information. And this is where some of, you know, I would say most people lose track of how it actually works. Because as long as you're on the internet, I can go to basically whichever page I want to, I can click whatever picture I want to in in you know in, in uh, very generalized terms and just right click and click download image or download picture now I can do this on Facebook as well I can go to whomever I wish to and just be well that profile picture uh, right click uh, download and I can download that picture because that picture has been shared even if it's always publicly it's something that I can access let's say that I'm viewing a a profile picture for someone from India who lives in India and do not know me whatsoever. Uh, as long as their profile picture is public or their, you know, their profile is made public and I can, well, access that, 
that uh, profile in some way or fashion, I can just right click and download that picture and now I can own that picture because I can say that I do own that picture because I have been in contact with that picture and that picture has been shared publicly you see this is all just spinning out of control then you can take the additional you know adding an additional layer on top of it and saying that well based on if we are basing it on rather if we're basing it on that well this is my information because you've shared it publicly not just for me to view but to actually interact with and download since this is the case if i upload it is it my information then and this is all based on the interpretation of was it mine to begin with? Because if it isn't, then, you know, this is obviously not, not going to be true. But if you re-upload it, is this going to be considered to be your information? Or is this stolen information? How are you going to go about this discussion? Which is the entire idea behind, you know, who owns what online? Because you are sharing it, so technically it's everybody's. I mean, if I record this video, or rather, when I've recorded this video, edited it, rendered it, processed it, all of those good things, and I upload it to YouTube, is it really my video? I mean, it's my video in a sense that I probably can claim any benefits that I'm, that it might have, either if it's based on monetary basis, you know, as other YouTubers can do, which I cannot yet, but, you know, that's not the, that's not what matters, it's the passion, right? <laughs> or uh, my train of thought can be credited or criticized. That's going to be my right that's going to be mine based on the video however since i've uploaded it to youtube there is a possibility for you to probably download that uh, that video hence one can say that i've shared that video with you all the people who view it that also means if you re-upload it is it your information probably not because it's a video and it's clearly saying that you know it's me who is in the video but you can alter it maybe in different ways and uh, reuse it i don't know which is getting in the problem that people do not actually know. And if we know it's badly, or if the information is out there and uh, legally available, or readily available, it's not distributed well enough so that we, you know, the, the average Joe out there can actually access it and understand it, which is a bit of an issue. Because if we're rounding back again and talking about the hearing from a few days ago, since I do have had a tendency to talk about those things over the last couple of days because it's a fresh topic and it's interesting and they took up a manner all manners of different good points and now i have removed the timestamps but they were in the video from two days ago in the end the key highlights i think but i reckon it's somewhere around four hours and 20 minutes and then it was once again at five hours and two minutes was two really good points about government intervention or regulations put in place in order to, that hasn't been put in place, that, but that probably, maybe, should be put in place in order to secure people's information online. And this all came down to the idea that, well, Zuckerberg's company, you know, Facebook, had sold this information, or rather, they haven't sold the information, but they shared the information that the third party then had sold in violation with the terms and agreement with Facebook, and, well, Zuckerberg's defense was that this is not how it should be done. This is not the case of what should be happening. And then the government, or then the uh, chairman and chairwomen said, well, what are you going to do about it? Like, what is the repercussions of this happening? Which is not the same as sharing information online, even though it was a case of sharing information online, but it's not in the same way as we were talking about it. But the same idea can probably be applied to our argument or to our discussion. And that is, if I do go out and download your picture online from Facebook, let's just say for convenience sake, or from Instagram or Twitter or whatever, I can find it. And I go and I right click on your picture and I download it. If you don't believe me, just try. It actually do work. Probably based on some internet settings that you do have. But I go out and I download your profile picture and I reuse that for some way, in some way, for some reason, uh, some end goal. Who is going to punish me for that? Because that might be considered as of today to be just untasteful behavior. And people that closely know you will know that this is probably not you who are posting these pictures. Because, well, it's probably not in line with what you're usually doing if I just do go out and do something crazy with your information, right? People that, people that do know you will probably know that this isn't how you usually behave. Can draw the conclusion that this probably isn't you. However, the people who don't know you, who don't know that this is a fake picture that I've uploaded to a fake profile, let's say, uh, on some other chat forum, uh, will not know this. And I can use this to my advantage and I can hide behind another person's profile picture, which also leads into the problem that, well, you shared this information with me, 
I took advantage of that information, I re-uploaded it, now I will consider it to be my information, and I will misuse it, and the uh, same idea, the same train of thought as the problem, the, criti the critique or the uh, credibility of the video that I might upload will be applied to the profile picture because that's clearly stating who this person is, uh, based on a profile picture that I've stolen from someone else, or probably not stolen since this person has shared it with me, right? But that's all a matter of perception. I mean, have I really stolen it? Have that person shared it with me? And me uploading it, does that mean I own it? Does that mean the credibility or the, and the critique that is based on this uh, profile picture and this profile on the forum will be uh, moved towards me or towards the person in the, in the picture if they do find out who it is? There are so many layers which you can use this from and you can make this even more complicating by saying that I'm downloading my friends or someone that I know's picture, I re-upload it, then somebody else's, then someone else re-downloads that picture, then I've uploaded to a fake account and re-upload that again, and then that person has a friend who is out doing the same thing and just go on and on and on and on and on. Now, what kind of repercussions are there to this kind of behavior? And some people might say that, well, we should have a government intervention going in and saying that, well, we should have a bit of a law about this. We should have clear instructions as to what it means uploading things to the internet, uploading things online. And I see that we only have four minutes left, so I'm going to try and convey my final point as concise and as quickly as I can. So if I'm missing out some obvious points, that might be why. Now, a couple of problems with this approach is that if we have any form of government regulation, the problem is that the internet is, uh, well, transnational, right? It, it spreads over the entire, it, it spreads over more than nation, it's kind of a global phenomenon, which means that we should need to have some form of global policy on how information should be viewed and how information should be treated. The problem with that is that, well, not all of the governments in the world can come across and can come to a... Uh, come to a conclusion about how we should deal with issues because if we have done that then why do we have different nations to begin with some might argue because it's funnier to have different cultures some might say well because that's just because we can't get along depends on what perspective you view it from right can be a combination of both probably is most likely i'm just trying to capture my train of thought here but the problem yeah then is that well a certain company or a certain nation cannot just put up all the laws for that specific country because that means that all of the pieces of the internet that can be accessed outside the the country in the country can be misused or miss uh, well people can get the disadvantage based on the regulations that is happening in one country even though the internet is actually well the phenomenon that they're on uh, or the site that they're on is not actually hosted in the country which gives which makes it an international incident and this will later on lead to probably in some form of a reach to sustain the internet uh, as uh, well as easily regulated as possible that it will be censored based on nation that will take away the credibility and the entire thing that makes up the internet to begin with and that will be a awful awful place to be probably and will actually hinder the transmission of information uh, more than it will solve it so there are a couple of different issues with this idea of regulation would it be the best thing possible if this were to be true not necessarily would I see it as a positive thing if there were some form of repercussions on how you acted online and that you couldn't actually just hide behind, you know, anonymity uh, in some way, right? It shouldn't be easy to find out who it is, but should there be some form of regulation that is put in place for this to happen? Absolutely, yes. I think so. Would it be for the better in all cases? Probably not. Would it be for the better in most cases? I believe it would. I would believe that the positives would outweigh the negatives in this form of situation. Is it feasible in the current state of the of the world, how the gov different governments and different nations look like? I'd argue no. <laughs> it probably isn't feasible at this point in time, but it's something that is really important to take up. How do we treat information online? Who's, who's is the information that they do post? If I post information, yet again, the base question here, is it my information or is it your information? Should it be any repercussions if I upload it and you use it and vice versa? And can this feasibly be happening? There, these are all good questions, right? That we have to take up and tackle as a society, probably, probably, and as an internet people, right? Because if you say that we can't, as I, uh, by the same virtue of the same argument, I can't really tackle this as a national on a national level. We have to tackle this as a as an internet, <laughs> as an internet people, in order to get some conclusive proof of how we actually regulate this kind of behavior, because it's something that the entirety of the internet probably needs to agree on. Yet again, feasible. 
Probably not, most likely not, but it would be nice if it happened, or I would argue that it would. Probably many people are in strong opposition to that, but I see that I only have 10 seconds left, so I will leave you with this. Before judging someone, walk a mile in their shoes, because then you will be both a mile away and you'll have their shoes. <laughs> I see you tomorrow, mates. Have a nice one.